to dissipate. Get round to your top and to your bottom, your body resemble a number eight. Little pass me the gun, I'ma shoot him too. Put rounds in his chest like a hula hoop. If dude will go vote, then I'm voting too. We don't keep no imposters among us, dude. I'm loyal to my dog like he Marmaduke. And I'm taking a shot like rock for you. Said I'm loyal to my dog like he Marmaduke. And I'm taking a shot like rock for you. This is the channel of Noodleton. We dropping bombs, yeah, we noking them. Feel like a tank, how we shooting them. Sound like a movie, no cinema. This rated R ain't no Disney Plus. Subscribe to the channel, let's run it up. Now that you here, boy, you one of us. It's a Pokemon race, how we run them up. This is the channel of Noodleton. We dropping bombs, yeah, we noking them. Feel like a tank, how we shooting them. Sound like a movie, no cinema. This rated R ain't no Disney Plus. Subscribe to the channel, let's run it up. Now that you here, boy, you one of us. It's a Pokemon race, how we run them up. Six. Going dark. Hey everybody, welcome in. Today is going to be the TCL championship match between US5 and Decoy. US5 is coming into this undefeated. Decoy with only uh, receiving one loss back in the regular season to US5. I'll be joined on comms today by Sir Tubbins from Immortals and Samurai Faith, which is the uh, administrator for the league TCL. Welcome in, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Yep, thanks for having me. It should be a good match. I'm looking forward to it. I think we're just waiting on a few more guys of uh, Decoy to show up, and then we'll get to uh, rolling. It looks like they're doing something with points. I'm gonna, not going to lie to you. I don't know how the points work, but I think that's why we brought you in here, Samurai. So any questions we got about the league, you're answering them, dude. Yeah, the point system is basically the the old system. We redesigned the system for next season, but the system that they're going, they had the choice to either go with the old system or the new system. The points basically are what you earn through the season as far as you get it, the ability to ban tanks, ban maps. The old system basically allowed you just to ban maps and ban tanks. The newer system gives you a little bit more. So decoy is deciding to go with what the old system was versus the new system, which gives you access to add in the ability to play an extra TD, banning the entire use of a heavy, a medium tank, light tanks, tank destroyers in general, banning the map, <laughs> banning specific tanks. So adds a little bit more. So decoy deciding just to stick with the old one. Sorry, I chuckled a little bit. I was just reading the uh, the match chat for these guys. What's the, what's the rule we got? I think uh, Gambit's way down one. What's the rule? How long do they have to get their last guy in here? Uh, five minutes passed. Okay, five minutes passed. So he's got some, he's got some few time. Otherwise, you know, I think uh, New already said, but you know, UFI or whatever. I don't know. That was that was that what they call themselves? UFI. UFI. I think they, uh, yeah, they they haven't lost at all, right? So they obviously should be top seed. They haven't lost to anybody so far, and uh, we'll see. This is what it all comes down to, right? You lose one, you lose it all, I guess, for them, huh? Yeah, for sure. Should be good. I think we got pretty, uh, as far as talent talent goes on both sides, should be pretty good. We don't know what maps we're doing yet, or do we know? Uh, they're going to wait. Yeah, they haven't picked or their map yet. I see uh, Inferno has been banned. Mm -hmm. That's what I've seen. And what else? What else we got banned? Or Decoy has a banned yeah. tank yet, huh? Yeah, they haven't Decoy spent any haven't points. Anything. Which technically they don't have to. They don't have to spend the points. Yeah, they have them, and they're not going to roll over, so he needs to use them. But whether whether that's happening or not is yet to be seen. Yeah, you know, I guess if you if you ban a tank, you ban it for yourself too, right? So yes, that's, that's kind of a double edged sword too. Unless, you know, you have guys like uh, that play for you like me where they just don't apparently have tanks, so. Got 
Okay, decoy is going to pick proc. Okay, so it is going to be an 8v7 if decoy can't get their 8th member as use fi is not going to agree to make it a 7v7. Standard is an 8v8, so decoy might have to play one down. Also, use five is going to have to drop a couple people out of here because they can only have 12 people in the room. Oh, really? Yeah. It's for ease of switching the room, switching sides. Close the line. Wow, these guys are rolling deep. Yeah, they really, uh, they re they're really prepared tonight, honestly. They've shown up. Well, it's also, I guess it's kind of, uh, you got a few, you know, two clans in one, really, right? Even sure. with a sprinkle of uh, another clan. So, you know, you got a lot of people. Everybody seems to show for the championship match, too. That's, that's the one that, you know, no nobody's busy. It's ironic how that works. That's how it goes. But I guess uh, I don't know who's hosting the room. Is it up to the, the room host if he doesn't mind switching to people, or...? I, it's, I put it in the rules for try to keep the rooms to no more than 12. It's not really a rule. I just, it makes it easier for switching sides where versus you've got like 14 people in here. It's kind of hard to switch. Gotcha. So decoy's picking proc and the use five is going to pick Arctic region. Jesus Christ. By the way, Chad, we're using a new uh, Discord party system tonight. This is a first for me, so if I sound a little bit better, you're welcome. Huh. You know, I, I'm going to be really surprised if, if Decoy doesn't use any bands like they have the points it's the last match of the season you know i mean I, I don't know what all the bands are like obviously we're going into the uh TCL they can next season we, we didn't they can ban a so map like they can ban a tank yeah but i mean like i said with the tank thing you know it's uh you're banning for yourself too right yeah yes so, you know, like like I was saying, like you know, if your guys like 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 you know, like TK ban Inferno, his, if a lot of his guys that he plays don't have the Inferno, that's a smart ban to me, right? But like, why you know, take it out of your own hands too? I guess I guess it depends, you know, on on, on how you want to work it. But I don't well, think I don't think the tank ban is that that big of a deal. I don't think I don't think it really changed too much. You know, the map like can they uh can they pick a map and then have a map banned or correct, it's got to be yeah. before. So this is this is Decoy's map pick. Next it'll be um US Five's map pick. Decoy can then ban that right after they pick it. So maybe that's what he's saving for. We'll see. Well, they've already picked. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Oh, they did. They did yeah, pick. I, I don't guess he's gonna picked. I don't guess he's gonna ban anything. And he's going in a man down, so not looking good. And uh, if if need be, if uh, we don't have a winner after the first two maps, uh, we will go to Mountain Pass Assault for the third map, since this is a best of seven. <laughs> so we're going to have... I have blind pick. Oh, that's right. That, that just made me go like, wait a minute, I have blind pick on. They fix spectator HUD so we can see what they're picking. That yeah. Just... And that just made me go crazy for a second. From a commentator standpoint, from a streamer standpoint, I like it. But from a player standpoint, I'm not real sure. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about it. Um, but I kind of I like what it. Is, Hopefully, nobody will take advantage. What does it matter? No, no, uh, nobody's gonna. Have it. I yeah. mean, the thing is, like, like, let's be real. Like, if you're playing in scrims. And, and you're like, you know, trying to get ahead of the other team, you're defeating the purpose of even scrimming. Right, like at the end of the day, you know, if you're relying on things like that or whatever to give you an advantage, well, when the match comes, you don't have that advantage. Like you don't get spec during a match, right? So, 
It is what it is. I think I think blind pick was a good thing. I think this well, is a good thing. I, I think don't think the... it changes. I th I think it also allows the, uh, you know, like for me, like if I'm calling, let's say I forget what I'm doing, which is happens a lot, you know, so I can just click myself onto spectator. Oh. And Not I can to interrupt. Oh, that's right. Then I would see the other team. Oh no, then uh, I would see the other team. Just so ban the brask. Huh? Uh, decoy just ban the brask. Oh, they got an eighth guy though. That's good. At least we won't have it on. Yeah, they got an eighth guy, and they put in a map, a, a tank ban. So. Oh, um, the Barask. Yeah, and that's of course. A good ban. Of course, that's a good ban. And TK's already got one. Yeah, too. I was gonna say decoy can't see that, but TK's gonna have to re redo that tank there. Yeah. And they just unbanned the. Yeah, and and Samurai, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is one of the things you're getting rid of next season, right? The ability to unban. Yes, the ability to unban it. Okay. Yeah, because now they're just going to go back and forth. They're going to spin points back and forth, ban it and unban it. Well, who's got more points, huh? Decoy. These guys got first place, never lost a match, and they have less points. How does that work? They uh, use points to unban a TE when they face TE. They yeah. use oh. points to unban what TE had picked. So, also known as that's Noodle Swap. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe. All right. All right. I'll throw you under the bus every now and again, though. I mean, in my defense, I didn't know they could unban, so, you know. <laughs> oh, I love it. There's definitely, uh, there's definitely a little bit of emotion in this one, I feel like. Oh, there is. There is. I, I... Have these teams been having words with each other in the Discord today? Have I, have I missed stuff? Okay, so they're going to use all their points they can <laughs> to keep it unbanned. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear God. That's what I was saying. They're going to keep going until their limit, right? Like, they're just going to they're gonna keep battling. Yeah, and that's what they're doing. I mean, uh, US5 is basically like, look, we're just going to use the rest of our points. Uh, to keep it banned or keep it unbanned, uh, it's up to decoy whether they want to go a little extra, and and I'm assuming we'll then put them in the position to where they can't ban a map, right? Will they have to use all their points to un or to ban this thing? Pretty much, both teams will not be able to ban anything. So the inferno and the Barasque. All right. I mean, I'm going to be the Barask. I feel like it's really strong there. Inferno, I don't know, but I'm not a tier eight. I don't really play too much tier eights anymore, but interesting. Yeah, but it's Barask nice to finally see. We got three tanks up that aren't a uh, premium. All right, so we got three T32s, Paladin, which is kind of like a T32. You got the uh, E2. That's the auto loader. That's like the Sergeant Slaughter, right? The uh, what now? The T32? No, 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 the the, uh, the E2, the T-54 E2, that's a Sergeant Slaughter, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think that's the unskinned version of it, if I remember right. Yeah, that's a nasty tank. I don't know if that, I don't know how good that would be on proc. I don't know how good the turret is. I mean, I know the turret's got angles, but I don't know. If <laughs> not really. Or not. It, it's got a huge cupola, right? So it's just going to get it's Yeah, just gonna get but that's still hard to hit on proc Deep. when you're poking it. DPM wise going up against like T thirty twos. Um Yeah, but it's a clip, man. It's yeah, a clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that that's that's the thing, you know. If you know, clips clips are strong and calm. You know, you gotta remember it's not like fifteen guys, it's not like you're on reload you um, know, for fourteen other dudes. It's just you just burst them. Samurai, I've got a glitch where I don't I don't know who the room host is, but they've unspec me. So maybe you I have make to because sure. the stream's catching up to it. Oh, I got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, once Flirt told me, yeah, it's catching up. I had to hurry up and do that. Yeah, I mean that's been kind of the discussion in a lot of these comp discords about it. You know, when people stream, if they take too long to pick, you know, then they wait for the stream to catch up, see what they're playing, counter, yada yada. But honestly, man, all these all these uh, leagues, only thing they have to do to counter that and keep that from being a thing is just run a, a timer run a timer in the discords it used to be a yeah. thing that we always did people got away from it but just run a three minute timer you have three minutes to pick mean, tanks big deal 
I mean, with the with the uh, with the blind pick, I don't I don't see it being that big of a deal in matches when we play. Well, or I like, mean, what, some what people. Are you, what have are you done getting it. on waiting? You don't you don't know what the other team has, no matter how long you wait. Like the well, problem I used to have with the it, question though, Tubbins, is if it's being streamed, right? They wait for the stream to catch up, and then they look and see what the other team's picking. Oh come! On. Ain't nobody doing that. Uh, I don't know. I, doing that? I I don't I don't know that it's ever been personally done during my stream. But there have been multiple conversations go on in a lot of the discords about it. I guess some teams have tried it already. Um, I, I don't know. Ultimately, though, it, just just run a timer and it eliminates that problem. It does. Not very many teams are going to do that, man. Um, you know, yeah, the but the, all right. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I want you to hear me out on this. If you require people to run a timer and then a guy plays a match, and then and then it just it leads to arguments about oh well you didn't start a timer and this and, you know it's just the, the more know. things the more the more arguments you know I mean I I don't I don't see what somebody's going to get. Oh no, of, uh, I agree this. with you. I, I mean you could you. you could also do you know what he just did, right? Unspec, yeah, just unspec the streamer. Yeah. Yep, that's the easiest way to solve the problem. I mean the streamer the streamer still gets the heads up once he's put on spectator and. Nobody can change tanks because the new rule within TCL is that once a person is put on spectator, tanks cannot be changed. All right, so we have so, confirmed the decoy does have just enough points to ban a map, right? Yes, they have okay. just enough, they have enough points to ban a map. Well, then I guess ultimately, uh, US Five got got what they needed, right? They they made decoy spend a lot of points. Now they can only ban a map. They can't ban any more tanks. Um, so, you know, GG's. All right, we've been waiting for like 15 minutes. Let's battle here, people. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm assuming they're about ready. Just don't forget to respect me. I'm, uh, I really hope. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. No, no, yeah, that no. wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good, no. That'd be very bad because then me and Tubbs are going to be the only ones commentating, but nobody can see shit. All right, we've got readies from US5. Now, it looks like we're getting ready to battle, yeah. Proc, like Proc. It All is a Proc map. life. Proc has, right, been, very... Proc has been one of those maps in this tournament that has been very even for both teams, both attack and defense. So we'll see what happens. This should be a nice game. There's it should. Nothing, uh, nothing I like than proc and comp. I love proc because even on assault, it still plays like the NBA version of proc. I'll let you guys handle covering the the tanks on each yeah, side. Yeah, I'll do. I'll I'll do the first side on uh, US can defy you know split team here. We got two T thirty twos, a Bellafon. A TL1 LPC. I think that's a Stone Cold, so they really got two Stone Colds. Yep. BC 12T, Iron Rain, ISU 152K. That, that, that's an interesting pick. I saw that thing do a lot of damage last time. Yep. And, uh, Out right. of uh, decoy side, we got the Vanguard. Uh, we've got King of Honor in the Scourge, a Su 130, uh, double T32s, another a Defender, on a Paladin, and a T54 E2. Looks like decoy is gonna play heavy one line and they're gonna put that vanguard. I'm assuming in a bush somewhere on the one one two line. Yeah, yeah he's gonna be yeah, all that's bush what they did. Yeah. So that's you know But that SU 130. I don't know all the stats against you 130, but Russian tank destroyers are uh, Usually pretty hard to find but look at that thing. It's probably gonna be super hard to, for them to find that guy and, uh, Yeah, it's got decent concealment Yeah yeah, it's got a good concealment. It can definitely sit back where it's sitting at and pop some shots in if yeah. that Bellafron peaks enough. Yeah. The problem that's going to happen here is that if you see uh, US Fi, how they're they're kind of on the one line and they don't have any eye. If that 1.30 p.m. can move up and the Vanguard can spot these T-32s, he'll just have free shots. I mean, one of them's already taken damage, so he might have tested to see if he got spotted from the light tank or whatever, or maybe they shot AG at him, but they didn't actually move him back. But that can be dangerous if you're on the one line really with no eyes, you know? Yeah, but yeah, likewise, US5 could move this oh, iron rain up. we didn't start timer, did we? 
No, I didn't. Right, I I'll forgot. try to be. I'll try to be the timer guy. Uh, let me see what this app with the timer is. That's under clocks, right? Uh, should be about two minutes gone from the match. I mean, but if Usefy can't cap, I mean, it's a W four decoy. So that's how it's yeah. been played. If you can't cap it, it's it's a loss. Pretty much yeah, standard that, NBA that, rule. That's a tough cap to get to. Um, I'm being honest. Oh. Oh yeah, usually this map map uh, ninety percent of the battles have always turned into basically a kill all on both sides. Yeah, I've streamed multiple of them on this map, and I've yet to see anybody go for the cap. You just go for kills. Yeah, but that's gonna be that's gonna be tough to get. But all you know, they're, they're pretty it's much hard. just playing heavy. They're pretty much just playing heavy tanks. Hold down. Right, and then if you can see, they've only got one guy on the other side of the tracks from the seven to zero line. So, you know, if they're able to kill him, you know, maybe that gives them another angle, right? But you're still getting the guys off the one line, getting the guys off the bridge is going to be tough because you know, even if, even if you know, just say you know, if decoy ends up losing, you know, everybody, those four guys from the four over, they still, if they're on the one, they're not capping. US5 is trying to blind fire you know any uh, M3 Bob here, but they're shooting. He's moved down. He moved down into the next bush, but he should be safe here. Uh, looks like Decoy's going to move uh, move up here a little bit, huh? Yeah. Not to mention, that is like the smallest tank I've ever seen. Look at that thing. Yeah, the Vanguard's tiny. I think he spotted their light tank. I think that's what made him move. I think the Vanguard unspotted him. Which would be really, really nice when we had the, uh, we used to have where you could see when people got spotted, but. Now yeah, but that like also this. added in a nice little thing, too. Like, if you're actually looking at the tank, like I'm looking at Immense Gamer, it shows you his assisted, destroyed, blocked, and it at least now gives you how much damage they actually put out. So now all they need to do is add in, hey, they're spotted. And that'd be really nice. Well, they used to have it. They need to add it back. Yeah, the, uh, the, yeah. So they're trying to. It looks like yeah, they're trying to push in on that defender and that uh, men's gamer. They gotta. They definitely gotta make them shots count on this one. Well, US five is gonna dedicate to a, a seven eight nine line. And decoy is already rotating over. You've already got the paladin coming in the Su one thirty rotating over now. Yeah, and, this guy. He's got to get the A zero and stay on spot, and they're gonna to have to kill this defender. If they don't commit to killing this defender, they're just gonna be permanently spot. And that's where I think the uh, the E two comes in with the clip, right? They commit, he clips, and then he just stays safe, right? He'll just blow a guy up. Like uh, T for TK will probably just when when they see that he's already taking damage, they'll probably just blow him up. But they really need to try to get him from A zero, not there. They're really just going into guns. They're going absolutely into too way too many guns here. Yeah, and I don't try know. Try to kill a defender. That's a lot of DPM in a clip. I don't know what the clock's gonna be, but it, it's got to be getting low. We got to be down around the three to two to four minute range. A uh, yeah, T for TK good. going down here. Well, they might be able to get this defender out. They didn't put a guy in A zero. Surprisingly, I wonder. I don't know why. Maybe the guy couldn't get there because he was spotted. But then again, the thing I just mentioned, I can't tell you that. This T thirty two is just gonna get farmed. They are trying to get shots, it looks like, from the hill, but the unfortunate thing is the Iron Rain is in a position where he, I don't think he can even render them. The men's Gamer can render them, but I don't think the Iron Rain is even in a spot where he can even see these guys. Yeah, that's a big shot from the ISU. Too bad he got a low roll. He could have actually killed that guy. Yeah, they're kind of turning one. this around. I mean, they're battling well. It, it, like, if this Iron Rain was in a better spot where he could have helped them, it could have been a lot better, but I guess they want to cover both sides and let the Iron Rain shoot into the middle. Yeah, oh, the paladin hard. bounced his kill shot. The paladin bounced his kill shot. That's unfortunate. It's pretty close for an attack and match, though. What do we got? Two, two. Oh, the one guy in the E2's got no health, and they got three. The unfortunate part is uh, Gino over to the T32. Just got absolutely farmed by the Vanguard, but he did shoot the Vanguard. That's a good shot. He hit that little guy. So the T32 is probably just going to get. I mean, Gambit's got a lot of health. The other T32's got a lot of health. So unfortunately, you know, like in the NBA map, at least there's a cap on this side. When they're on this side, there's no way for them to get pressure, right? There's there's no reason for the other team to even poke. Super Bruno's gonna go. He did kill him, but he he ate two shots for that. This Vanguard's just about to clip out this T32. Gino, 
He's almost reloaded, so we're, we'll have shots raining here in any second. And there they come. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have a medium or anybody really on the hill to kind of go get that Vanguard either. But, I mean, oh, for a, uh, yeah, I think he's got one more, though, right? Probably about. Yeah, I don't didn't know. Take him out. He he may not have had the best shots on this guy. Yeah, I don't think it's really gonna make a difference. He's just gonna go down to uh, hey, you know, he's gonna go down to you know K six over there and just shoot him anyway. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> the only health that US five even has left is uh, basically that iron in the, rain. Yeah, the iron rain. Uh, the LPC did go down on the back end. I mean, for attacking, they actually did a lot. I'm going to be honest with you. They got a lot more uh, help than I thought they were going to get off a decoy. Just the unfortunate part is the whole down. They got bled more. They're gonna... Yeah. I mean, but these guys, like, when, when there's no way to really make T-32s and the Scourge and stuff really move, they, they're just, they're just going to sit there, right? That's just the reality of it. So that was a little tougher. But yeah. Not terrible. I mean, they got a lot. They also got a few low rolls, right? So, like, they had to take a lot more damage to kill tanks. Where the, that RNG was a little bit higher on their side. Matches a little bit closer, but they'll have defense next time. I definitely think looking at this, defense is way, way stronger. It is, so. yeah. So, Samurai, um, going back into the regular season, US5 did beat Decoy. Um, but do you remember, I'm sure you do, was US5 the home team? They got both map picks, correct? I believe, uh, actually, I can go back and look uh, real quick for you, actually. Give me one second. GG's the U.S. file in this round. Yeah, they gave it their best shot. Ultimately, I mean, it's just, it, it's hold down heavy tanks that don't have to move, right? So it's really hard to do. Um, They're going to uh, they're yeah, gonna go down one here. Five. Yeah, U.S. file did have home field advantage that, that go around. Yeah, so the yeah. only thing really different about that matchup and this matchup is this go around decoy got to pick the first map, which is proc. Um, or I'm sorry. Yeah, decoy got to pick the first map this go around. Yeah, they they picked the first map. So, I mean, initially what it originally was going to be set up is, is that me and Flirt were going to pick the maps, and then it was going to just go to that. And But then some people mentioned, hey, we think it should be, since it's the first and second place team, there's no home field. Both teams should get a chance to pick a map. So I changed it. And All right, I over on a, over on decoy side, we got Super D in the SU 130, one kill, 2553. Good game there. Uh, we got E90 M3 Bob in the Vanguard, 2440 uh, out of his damage. Only 900 assists. I, I actually thought that, he was going to have a little more. That's a lot more. of damage out of, yeah, out of a he, light tank. Yeah, he was shooting that's a funny. lot. Uh, we got Gambit in the T32 with two kills, 1355. Also has 2450 blocked. Um, we got King of Honor in the Scourge, three kills, 1136. Uh, we got Shoot Blanks in the Paladin with 1,000 damage. Uh, we have It's Dip in the Defender with 891 with 1350 blocked. Uh, we got Drizzy, which actually is a new name for me. I, I don't know that I've seen this person with decoy uh, ever. Drizzy. Yeah, in a T54 E2 with 757. And Dodger Blue in a T32 with two kills and 300 damage. You got on the other side, you got a, uh, a men's gamer and his uh, ISU actually did pretty good damage, 2247. Then you got their T32, 1630. You got Super Bruno in his uh, unskinned uh, Stone Cold there. Three kills. He did actually kill three of them. He was kind of playing cleanup man there. He actually went eight for nine, so that's pretty good, even though damage doesn't show that that's still eight pin shots it's really not that bad 1400 damage t32 he kind of was a guy that kind of got flanked really wasn't able to get a lot of damage out 800 and then you got monkey he was only able to do 500 and the iron rain was on the hill only actually went one for five uh, i felt like he maybe could have been in better position but i don't know maybe the ghost shots pin is a different story 460 and then i actually think their light tank demon lord i actually think he just got out cameled out by the vanguard and root for play uh, just shy of 200 damage, and then you got T for TK and a Stone Cold. He was a guy that kind of had to eat the shots to go in, and he was already low health, so they kind of really lost him just to make the push. It wasn't, it wasn't. We'll say, like, I think, uh, 
I definitely think defense is stronger here. So I'm thinking that this is probably going to be evened up after this one, but I've seen crazier things happen. We will find out. Yeah, I think it's going to be evened up. I mean, the big thing with Usefy, and I, and I know they were talking about it, is that they, through the through the regular season, they ended up quite a few times going to the tiebreaker to win. So, yeah, I mean that's, that's true. Yeah, that was every week. I was I was they went to the tiebreaker every week. I, yeah, USFI had what three or four uh, tiebreaker matches, right? Uh, I, I want to say at least three that I can remember because I know they yeah. didn't go against. They didn't go to it against us, Keg. I know they didn't go against. Uh, I think it was you, AVG, yeah. Decoy, and I think I think it was four. I think one other team took them to to a tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah, they. Uh, but isn't the tiebreaker mat different for the championship mat- match? Right. It is ghost town. It yeah. So, a- so all the previous tiebreaker maps, you know, you, I mean, obviously they were getting good at it. You know, they played it three, four times, um, but that was Himmelsdorf encounter. Now they're going to go to ghost town. So it's, it's, uh, it's really fair ground for both teams, I believe. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I, I think the, I don't, my opinion, I don't think we're going to see, ghost town i i think we're gonna have mountain passes i feel is gonna be the determiner for who's who's yeah winning. yeah I, for I sure well, well, we gotta that, hope to see ghost town yeah ghost you town's fun to watch tiebreaker. you want to see a tiebreaker yeah, yeah, yeah i do i do want to see it but at the same time i don't i don't think we're gonna see it that, that that's my point the, these well, two teams are gonna are playing I hard i don't know if that's really the case though you got to remember this is assault this is tier eight um proc yeah i mean a little bit one-sided attack can win it right um what'd they pick arctic region extremely one-sided okay attack can win it but they've got to do everything absolutely perfect and then you've got mountain pass which is another map that is very one-sided for defense um so you got three maps where both teams could go one and one very very true yeah i think i think that's the one uh one tough thing but i also you know that can make a break you if you really you know I think uh, well, one of these maps you really should win can really break you in this. For sure. I think, I think it's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, ultimately what it boils down to on these three maps, not so much proc, but definitely Arctic region and Mountain Pass. If the defense team makes one little mistake and they allow the attacking team to get in and really get a good grip on one side of the map, I have no idea. It, it, could, make, it could make the difference in winning and losing for defense. That was weird. So I went to keep people from jumping in, changed it, and it completely changed the room settings. Unpicked everybody and everything. It, I've never seen it do that before. Yeah, it always does that. Yeah, it, 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 usually, it's a glitch. It, it usually would only like take off the map. This completely took yeah. everything and switched all the settings. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, all this beating your ass up is ready to battle. Yeah, he keeps picking his time. He's ready. He's ready to go. Yeah, I mean we've uh, we've been we've been kind of hounding World of Tanks console developers to uh, you know really focus on the the spectator side of things. You know, spec HUD, um, custom game settings, um, and and they have done some stuff. You know, hopefully in this next update coming, or uh, maybe even potentially the one after that, we'll get some good updates. Uh, the key thing that we're missing, and I guess this is kind of your reminder, Tubbins, we don't have a time clock when you're spectating we we don't know how much time is left um uh i don't know two three updates ago it got removed i'm sure it was a glitch it wasn't something intentional Uh, it's been been back since i came back to the game man. yeah it's been a while man like um yeah it's been it's it's been (laughs) one two or three updates it's been seven eight months that that timer being gone is, is is unfortunately before the timer was gone, there was much, much, you know, there was other things that were much more pressing to have back into custom lobbies. Um, but now that that's been gone, that's the one, like, we got to have it back. You know, we need that back in custom games. Um, you know, obviously the players playing can see the, can see the timer, but the people spectating cannot see it. So hopefully we get that on Tuesday with the, uh, with the update tomorrow. Yeah, I think, I, I think the timer is big, and I think being able to see when somebody is spotted in spectator yep. mode is big, too. Because, like, when you're watching something, like, you know, 
spotting is really really big in this game it we is. don't really know like i was like even that last match like i'm kind of guessing that that light tank got spotted like i kind of feel like he just got pushed out by the vanguard the vanguard was just going bush by bush and pushing him out and pushing him out and pushing him out but i don't really even know if that's true yeah yeah i know we've uh we've asked for them to make it to where we could see if somebody spotted uh we've asked to make it so we could see if somebody's ammo racked um their engines you know messed up you know the 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 modules we want to be able to see module damage spotted of course um you know those are some big things uh, and honestly if they would just give us those those things plus the time clock back i mean we would be able to put on a, a pretty good show um the, the rest of it would just be uh you know little improvements here little improvements there but you know those are the major things so apparently now when you go and do one little thing it completely changes every sentence takes blind pick off puts you in cold war takes off the map pick where it used to just take off the map pick now it re oh my lord it'd be interesting i think i think when you're playing these attacks i feel like you gotta gamble you like do you gotta pick a side and you gotta go you do and you know just just seeing decoys picks from here there's changing like every two seconds but that don't look like a gambling well, yeah. like gamble. I mean, maybe you could with that. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what else they pick. But I mean, like, you just gotta hope that the other team is really splitting and maybe try to catch them off guard. Because I don't, I don't well, see any any other way you're gonna really get in there. A lot of teams try to try to you know play proc, kind of like US5 did on attack. Spread out. Try to get some map control. Try to bleed people from angles. Um, but all the other maps where they're, I don't want to say they're uh, you know 100% defense friendly, but um, a lot of them are. are a whole lot harder for attack to do anything with than proc um that's what you see a lot especially at tier eight you just see everybody group up big big wolf packs you know yolo one side and uh just start deleting tanks right i mean that's it it sounds bad but it's actually um it's actually a strat that works i was always a fan of the yolo well, the defense has to prepare for it too, right? They have to be prepared for, uh, for somebody to full send one side, um, and and they're guessing, right? They're guessing on which side that'll be. Um, you just gotta kind of use your, uh, use your skills to determine that. We should be getting ready here, huh? Yeah, we should be going. Oh, wow, they're switching still. Oh my god, let's go. I think they're ready now. I mean, I can't see the Discord chat. Yeah, they're ready. They were just uh, making sure that I was a spec. Maybe, yeah. They were they were concerned that I wasn't spec. Oh, that's nice of them. At least somebody's yeah. concerned about you. Yeah, no, yeah. I know. You know, I feel I feel uh, I feel appreciated. Yeah, but um, on the side of decoy, you got two T thirty twos, a scourge, a defender, a Ragnarok. Drag in the Vanguard again, SU-130 PM Ooh. on the side of uh, US-5. You got two of the Tier 8 Skodas, newer tank, two T-32s, uh, object uh, 252U, so that's a Defender, right? Stone Cold. It looks like Demon Lord has gone to the Vanguard. I think he kind of saw that that was the pick last match, and then you got an SU-130P. So, relatively similar, and I think uh, US can't kind of go in... Uh, Pretty heavy, kind of like decoy did, right? So, uh, heavy some, so something to oh, know over on the decoy side, we've got we've got a gold mark Vanguard and a gold mark SU one thirty PM. We're gonna have a Vanguard battle in a second. I think oh, yeah. Demon Lord's gonna get out spotted. Yeah, he's already spotted. I mean, yeah, he not he, he he was just in a bush, man. You're not spotting that. Yeah, I think uh, the other Vanguard got there faster. I think that's that he's playing a big thing in this. I, I feel I feel like uh oh, like big when you're player. able to take yeah, when you when when you're able to take uh when your light tanks, you know, keeping their eyes and forcing their light tank back, that is a big thing on an open map, man. That makes it very, very hard to play. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that E Nani has maybe not the back heavy, but he's got the majority of these guys lit. Well, daddy's running. And getting shot at, so yeah, he's yeah. spotted. He's got some of these guys spotted for sure. He's in a man. Is he in a powerful position? He 
He's really got U.S. file locked back there. There's nothing they can do. Yeah. Uh, if uh, Super D is able to move up and let his gun sing, like I kind of said last match, if you're able to kind of control this one and outspot him and do that, or that T32 overpeaked and just ate one from Super D. So they're bleeding him a little bit, you know, little by little, and I forgot to do the timer. So there's that. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough thing to remember, actually, ironically I'm enough. Sure got a timer well, up, uh, we're currently at 8 minutes and 11 seconds left of the match to end. Ah, so we're two minutes well, have gone by. Unfortunately for US5, Decoy's Vanguard is just in a crazy good position. He's not going to get spotted out of there if he doesn't fire. I mean, it's it's basically going to take US5's light tank coming up proxy at him. So uh, he's just in a really good spot to keep these guys lit. Yeah. Well, US five's T thirty two isn't even trying to blind shoot him either. It doesn't. No, and he's. They didn't. Oh, he ate another one. He ate another one. Oh, I saw a blind yeah. fire come in. Now, maybe I mean they've got to do that. They have to blind fire this bush. Well, this T thirty two, I think I, you know, unfortunately, like I can't really see the dip. But sometimes going back isn't always even the best place to go, right? Like he needs to go up more, right? And then take away the angle of where he's being shot from. He's not. He's not taking away the angle, right? I still think he could probably get shot there. But we will see. But I mean, they're doing what you said. You know, they're bleeding him slowly. Like, you know, it's 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 better to have the Yolo at the end. Monkey just took another shot. Yeah, and this daddy, daddy's, 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 getting getting daddy's getting shot from the hill. Dog, daddy's getting clipped. Got... Yeah, daddy got bled. So they yeah, got they got a one. bunch of tanks. They got four. Whoa, they got one, two, three. Yeah, they got four tanks that are around half health. So oh, when yeah. they do make their play, that's really two tanks health on. What's astonishing to me though, okay, is the lack of blind fire in, in this bush from US5. They know like they're spotted. They know that this guy it, it oh, they... monkey monkey's trying, but unfortunately, like the thing about that, like he's trying to shoot, but if you notice when he shot, he got shot back because he got yeah. spotted. Like the thing yeah, the thing is like you just I don't know if it was a light tank spawn or maybe, you know, they weren't able to get bushes or maybe demon should have went to a farther back bush. But like this game has drastically changed all because one light tank got to a bush and demon has yeah. gone. He's not finding the light tank now. He's gone. So methodical here. Oh, oh, big blind fire. Big bound fire. Oh, they got him. Yeah, yeah. They got him. He, he's actually going to stay there. He's going to assume that they're going to think he moved. Uh, I, I think like that was that, Monkey buddy. that hit him. Yeah, but Super Bruno's kind of not... Now he's kind of in the open. And this uh, Scourge, every time he reloads, he's going to have a shot on him, I believe. At least one more, maybe. Yeah, he's got shots. They were able to get him out. Yeah. He did get the uh, Vanguard spotted, though, when he went down. He, yeah, but at, at the, Monkey's down now. At that point, yeah. like, unfortunately, like, here's the reality of it, right? You're trying to spot that Vanguard to keep the guys on your one line alive. When your guys in your one line are dead, it doesn't matter, right? You know, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, what are they oh, spawning the shot. Vanguard for now? He's not gonna stay there, right? Oh my goodness, he got deleted oh. as soon as he got spotted. Oh, we're at the uh, Super D on decoy side is gonna have a monster of a game. This guy has dealt some damage. He's he, he's a beast. I mean, he has single-handedly almost won that one line um he just nailed that guy too yeah oh big focus fire out like it's on point out of decoy here well that was a thing for the regular season that these five really was excelling at was their focus fire was on point and they, we just haven't seen it yet i mean ultimately that match was decided at the beginning right demon lord from us5 i don't know if he just drove too far uh, if he couldn't get to the bush first, I, I got there too late, but he definitely got outspotted by uh, Decoy's light tank and then allowed Decoy's light tank to move up into the powerful bush to keep everybody on that back line spotted. And uh, yeah, they just didn't have an answer for that. No, they did. The other thing that hurt him is that, you know, when their light tank got spotted, Demon Lord ate it, you know, but on the side of Decoy, you got Super D, two kills. 4350 in damage it's a lot of damage for a tier 8 he was able just to sit there and kind of farm then you have the scourge that came down to one line one kill 2250 those were all pretty much all on the uh guys on the one line and then you got uh 
well, I call him the fake Super D, with uh, 1,300. He was on the other side. He's the one who was hitting Daddy on the other side of the tracks. Then you got Gammon T32 right over the ridge, 1,200, one kill. He's put in when he could. Dips in the Dragon. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know where he was. I don't either. Pins, seven, eight, uh, six, uh, 680 there. Then you got the Defender, 630. But I think... You know, they they were they were just not the guys that had the shots. Dodger Blue one kill, three thirty. And the Vanguard four thousand spotting, one kill, even managed to kill somebody too, three hundred damage. And then on the uh US uh can side, uh the SU one thirty P just shy of a thousand, Stone Cold eight hundred, they were trying to hold that other flank. Monkey was really honestly, I think he was just trying to blind fire and he was ending up getting spotted. Uh four sixty there, four fifty from the uh skin defender both the t32s 350 300 and then you had the uh, other guy who was next to monkey in the other skoda zero and unfortunately demon lord i don't know if it was a spawn thing or whatever it was but just lost the race to the bush and really wasn't able to get anything done and, yeah you know, we can talk about it until we're blue in the face but i really think that just made a huge huge difference are you huge. able to bring two light tanks in this um yeah Hmm. Yes, you, there is no limit on light tanks. There is no limit on autoloaders. There is, there, the only limit is on TDs and no artillery. That is the only restriction. No. I'm surprised nobody bans uh, a Vanguard. But then again, <laughs> I'm not a tier 8 specialist by any means. I don't really know what's good or not anymore. You know, so. But that, uh, Bob, really, like even in that, you know, well, he made a huge, huge deal in both those matches in that light tank. Just vision wise, knows. like, and we he, can't even see who's being spotted and who's not. But I, I got a, I got a inkling, you know, that he was. Uh, that was a big deal, man. That was a huge deal. Open he map light uh, tank. He definitely showed off why he had gold marks on that thing. And I think, I think maybe they should have went with saying let the Inferno play and ban the Vanguard. In my opinion, that would have been probably the smarter move. Well, yeah, I mean, not really. It, it's kind of a gamble, right? You know, if, if Demon yeah. would have gotten their bush and, uh, you know, and gotten his bush first, right, then it would have been the opposite way, right? You know, you would have had D90 uh, Bob get lit and he would have had to go on a retreat and then they wouldn't have been able to farm. So uh, for whatever yeah. reason, he just wasn't able to get in the bush. Yeah, Arctic I Region's one that... of those maps where... Um, I really feel like the attacking team can pull this off. I've pulled it off on this map. Um, but the defense team can do a couple of weird things, right, to kind of throw the attacking team off. Um, a, a lot of teams, and, and I think US5 is one of them when we've streamed uh, you know, some of their previous matches on this map, they try to really stack up hard on that left side, get a hole down, get a guy up on the hill. Um, and then on the right side, they just kind of play guard. Um I'm personally a big fan of the the defense attack strat where you just you send your team in, you delete the heavies that are going to try to push in on that side, and then all you have to worry about is a couple of medium tanks flanking around. Um, so we'll see how they uh, how they decide to play this here. And on the attacking side, I, I'm a firm believer that there's really only one way to to win this map. Um, you got to just send your whole team. I'm not familiar with this map. But... I'll see when it loads in, but uh, uh, U.S. Fine cool. needs a comeback. Then your morale boost, I think. You know they gotta. Well, this is their this. map pick. This is their map pick, um, and I really feel like, given the map, even if you make mistakes or you lose some trades, it's it's still really defense heavy. Um, so you know, I, I, I have to give the advantage spawns, to them because the flag spawns in the encounter spot for assault. Yeah, and they spawn just north of it in the hill there. Oh. So yeah, what, yeah. the attackers get what all the south. Yeah, the attackers get all the south. Yep. Wow. You can maybe win that. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's possible. Um, it, it's just it's not the easiest thing to do. I fully suspect we'll see some. Actually, we may not see any Caliban here. I know US Five really love to run that thing on this map, but. In the previous update, World of Tanks console took away shell uh, shell swapper on it. So yes, they did. We may not see them play that tank this go around. The Caliban's an auto loader. Why would it have shell swapper? It 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 was apparently a glitch, and it had shell swapper. Oh, this oh this game had a glitch. 
Yeah, yeah imagine, right? That's just all right. Well, they advertised it to have that ability, and then they took it away. So I know some people that are not happy about that at all. I mean, it kind of made the tank a little broken, if I'm going to be completely honest. It's and, broken without it. And we did see I mean, a, they do have a Caliban pick. That tank, yeah, well, if he plays in the same position he has in the past, which I'm not real sure that's the, the play, right? Uh, a lot of their matches have been streamed, so Decoy would have had time to study this. But if they play it in the position they did before and they're successful with it like always or like they have been, he's going to put up a big game here. Yeah, but the big thing out of use fire is they've got to focus fire. That's the big thing, and and make and pen their shots. I noticed a lot of bounce shots those two matches. So I mean, if they pen their shots, they they've got this, and they focus, they've got it. Uh, I mean, that last match, I think they were being shot by people they couldn't see. Yeah, they just couldn't see them. Yeah, they didn't that, have vision. That was a little, that was a little rough. But on the decoy side, we got. Uh, two T thirty two Scourge Defenders, same kind of tank. Ragnarok Dragon Vanguard SU one thirty P Super D standing in that after his uh big game last time. Then on the uh US Defy side you got Skoda, one Skoda, one Caliban, one Paladin, Tiger Two, Tiger Two Battler, so we're playing this whole time, two T thirty two Dragon and Iron Rain again. So they kinda little bit of differences, but it seems like both these teams kind of have their own, like, well, you know, they seem to like their Skodas, right, and their Iron Reigns, and the other guys seem to like their uh, issues, but I think Bob and his Vanguard already already causing <clears throat> chaos, already something, doing damage. Something that I've noticed right off the rip, two things, two real big key things. Um, number one, Decoy has definitely seen some footage of US5 playing this map because they have sent their team to the right where that was normally the weak side for DFI's. Oh, uh, yeah, he's getting he's getting slaughtered. But the kicker is, US5 is playing this map different than they normally have. They've got a little bit more action going on, on the right side. So, you know, while while Decoy is playing into it a little bit, they've seen some footage of these guys. US5 has also altered their strat a little bit in preparation. I mean, the bad news is that... Uh... Yeah, Monkey's probably going to go out here. Yeah, but there, I mean, that's the bad news. The good news is there's still, if you look at the HP, it's not that crazy down. He isn't dead. He will see them coming. If they can cover him and get that health back, they will be okay. But the thing is, they have got to stop bleeding, right? You know, they yeah, really they just they back have, here too. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, TK got shot once by the Vanguard, but... They don't have anything to. They don't have anything to stop this Vanguard. The Dragon just got hit, um, up there. So you know they're gonna blind shoot. They're gonna know where these guys are. They're gonna know where they're hiding. But I think they have got to when they come to kill Monkey, and they will have to. I would think this would be their play eventually. Decoys can play a very patient game. Um, they have to get that health back. They either will get that health back and it will be a brawl to the end, or they will not get that health back. They were they able to get, get Monkey out for free, yep. Yeah. They got him from the corner. They just spammed him with those mediums. It looks like at the same time, too. All right, now I guess it's just hold. Just hold. You're a guy down, a little bit of health. But, you know, overall, the health isn't that crazy. That's, you know, 1,000 damage. You know, an Iron Ring can do that in two seconds, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Get that health back in two seconds. At the end of the day, Decoy's got a tough task ahead of him here. They're going to have to push into yeah. a lot of guns. Yeah, but they the like... thing is, like... Oh, but us is getting aggressive on the defense on the right, and Gino got lit on fire. He's going to go out here. Yeah. I don't know where he's going. Oh, big hit from Dragon the SU-130 on the, on the Draugen. Yeah, us is definitely not playing this like they normally have. Um, not good. Some miscommunication going on within the, their chat or what, but they're this is not the use fire that we're used to seeing. They're, they usually play a little bit more methodical. No, well, I mean, I think I think they just really assumed that there wasn't really anybody over here. Right, like I don't think they planned on T32s being covered. Right? I don't think they planned on uh, being shot in the middle. But the thing was, if you notice, when Gino made his move, Bob was coming down the middle of the map. And unfortunately, I really hate to say it again, this light tank is just causing absolute chaos. This is absolute chaos.
chaos for them. Like when you're playing and you're constantly spotted when you poke and you don't know what's spotting you or really where it's from, it's tough. It's tough. I think uh, Decoy came in kind of uh, really kind of learning these angles over this over the course of the season. I had to say, I think this is only a matter of time because now they just have a push. I mean, they might, they might be able to if they if they can get dips, and they can get the defender in the back, and they can handle this scourge. You no, know, this paladin can do a lot of damage. He's gonna bounce it too. TK is gonna take shots for him. He's gonna move up. This is gonna be a big pin. He hasn't shot yet. Maybe he can get the defender in the back. If he can get this blanks out, he missed oh, the he shot. Bounce. He bounced. He bounced. Yeah, Why looks like he hit bounce? the back. It looked like he hit the back of his uh, side skirt, but I'm not positive. He's honest. almost loaded here on his next shell. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta get guns out. Because once Super Bruno goes down, they're not they're not gonna care. You guys are really about to see it. They Big are moving there. up the iron range. His iron range should have been here to hit that cross, or maybe he was the guy hitting the cross. Iron range, big clip, big clip here, big clip. That's, that's four. That's one. That's two. Then we got a three. There's three. See, unfortunately, with a Caliban kind of being there and two guys on low health, it's not ideal. I mean, they did, they did what they could, but I guess, you know, the really pushing to that other side into, like, really just triple crossfire. You got the guy in the corner, you got the guy in the middle, you got the guy in the back, and then you got the guy you're going after, right? So. Yeah, I mean, once the brawl really tough. took place, I feel like US5 was doing a good job here. Uh, ultimately, they just didn't have anybody to cover their flank. And this is a best of seven, right? So we're three nothing now. Yeah, we're three nothing for decoy. This is um, and now US fast to go on the attack, which decoy made it look a little easy there, but it's really not. I mean, they just took advantage of uh, of a couple little misplays, and US fire got aggressive on the defense. I don't. I mean, I guess it's like you said, they just didn't know that that T thirty two was over there. Yeah, that's a little rough, but you got on the decoy side, you got the fake super doing the most damage on the team, two kills, 2,900. You got the real super D, and then SU doing two kills, 2,700. T32, one kill, 1,600. Dragon, one kill, pretty much 1,600. Bob in the Vanguard, uh, one kill, 1,000 damage. I really think him being in the middle and not really knowing where he was, probably played a bigger thing than probably the scoreboard shows, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Scourge. 800 damage, T32, 700 damage. You got the defender with 600 damage. And you got on the other side, Tiger 2 Battler, 2600. It's not a bad game. Uh, you got the Iron Rain. He did He did make the shots count. I will say it's 5 for 5, 1 kill, mm -hmm. uh, 2042. Caliban, 1 kill, 1650. They were trying to really just hold that side. They didn't do a bad job. You know, It was kind of like that first match where I kind of saw it was a little bit of low rolls. Right, They weren't able to get people down. The Paladin over there. They kind of focused him out first. They didn't want to deal with the DPM. 700 damage. And unfortunately, you had Monkey, who had, had a tough time in the beginning. The T32 had a tough time when he kind of moved. The Dragon had a tough time when he kind of moved. And then T32 got set on fire in the middle. So those four guys all looked, kind of moved, tried to make it happen, right? And when they made their moves, they got punished big time. They weren't able to do any damage, unfortunately. One it just more really victory. seemed like Decoy was really ready. You yeah, know, anywhere they, that those guys tried to rotate, they were ready for it. And they, yeah, you Decoy would think had the map that was down. Flipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Decoy definitely had a plan down, um, and they stuck to it. I mean, they they went in with it. Uh, so Decoy just needs one more victory here to uh, to send it home. This is quick. I mean, they're not out yet. We can turn this around. They could easily turn it around. I mean. Uh, they get a W here on attack. They go to Mountain Pass, which is kind of neutral ground for both teams. To the best of my knowledge, neither team has played that map this season. Um, nope. So, yeah, I mean, oh. it, it's kind of neutral ground. It's 100% neutral ground. So, so, we've definitely might. Be, I mean, decoys. Good. Use five has got to win all three matches to stay alive and force it to the tiebreaker. Okay. 
have to lose connection. Huh? Hello? Are you good? You guys still hear me? Yep, I can hear Hello. you. Hello. That was weird. Hello? Y'all couldn't Hello. hear for a minute? Yeah, we couldn't hear diddly for a minute. Oh, I could hear both of you. <laughs> well, we got randoms back. We got Trade Balls 13 coming in hot with his Tiger 2. Probably just watch the stream trying to get some action for himself. And the uh, beating your ass up guy is back who apparently just doesn't get the hit. He just they wants to battle. Him. He really just wants to battle. All right, there, there you go, Tubbins. Go recruit him. No, I'm all right. <laughs> if a guy can't look at two sides of the match and realize he's not wanted, I don't know if that's a guy I'd be able to get along with too well. Maybe he's all right. He does have a funny name. He might have a sense of humor, you know. So, I think once we spec Noodle, we're ready to battle you. Now, so. Holy um, premium tanks. Woo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, use fires fighting to stay alive now. That's it. Back against the wall here. We you do know have what? Bob and his Vanguard again. An interesting demon lord did go back to that, uh, the little bat chat, the BC 12T. But on the, uh, let me try to just run down the list really quick. On the uh, US 5 side, you got the Tiger 2. We got the Surge, 2 Ragnarok, Dragon, Stone Cold, BC 12T, SU 130PM. That's a light lineup. That is a light lineup. So I'm going to assume that they're going to be going somewhere. But maybe I'm wrong. And then uh, on the decoy side, Standard 2 T32, Scourge Defenders. Seems like they're kind of bringing those every match, those four tanks. Two Ragnaroks on this one. And you got Bob back in his Vanguard and Super D back in his SU 1.30 p.m. Yeah, it looks there's... like Decoy's going pretty aggressive, like kind of where Monkey did, but they are just bringing four tanks there, and it looks like they're probably going to try to get, if I had to guess, they're probably going to try to get Bob in a spot where these guys can sit, hold down, uh, clip, well, maybe the T-32 can sit, hold down. They're probably going to put the Ragnarok somewhere else where they can kind of clip and then get behind cover. Looks like they're going heavy there, and it looks like um, UFI, unfortunately, I think these three tanks are playing into this because the Scourge is not out of Great Depression, and these other guys probably don't have the best of turrets for this. So they might be kind of playing the decoys' hands on this. And on the other side of, um, you know, US Camads, they're going standard, kind of what, uh, kind of what decoy did. They're going to have one heavy tank there, one guy in the corner. One guy kind of in the post spot down there. And they are playing the medium tank, just plop right in the middle of the map. All right. So the their light tank should be able to actually spot that cross when Super D crosses, but maybe not because he's behind a rock, unfortunately. So I don't think US US Ken's light tank has really got too much information at this point. Nah, he doesn't. Right? Like like, you know, this whole backside is uh is open. I don't think that's a bad move for decoy because even if they take that backside, you still have to fight uphill, right? Well, I mean, ultimately for decoy, they they can cover the cap from this whole side of the map. They don't have to have. Yeah, that's north. what. I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even if you get there, you would still have to come up that hill and then go. You know, you'd have to come all the way around and then draw, right? And if they're able to rotate and get into position, so there's Bob going crazy in the middle. It looks like he outspotted him. Oh, demon got him on that one. Oh, demon got him again. That gun only does like 150 damage, unfortunately, for Demon. That is not a that is not a big shooter. It's not honestly a, shooter. a it's honestly a weird tank pick, regardless. Like it's not a big spotter. It's not a big it's not a big anything well, for like tank. Yeah, he lost eyes, so he tried to um, he tried to blind fire him, but Bob gave him one back. Oh, TK's coming for him. Oh, no, but looks like TK probably got spotted. And if TK comes from and these Ragnaroks are able to get shots, TK will get hurt. I don't think the fix would be able to shoot him there. I don't think Dips would even be looking for it. But it would be risky. It would be risky. Well, now that he's spotted, but, they're going to be looking for it. He's really got to worry about this SU-130 up north. Ooh, Defender got a big hit back in the back. Shoot blanks. Yep. He, he's, ha he's below half now. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Demon Lord just got whapped. 
Somebody Ooh. is whacking them. Who is whacking them? Is it the it's SU? Cool. It's the SU. Yeah. The yeah. SU's whacking whacked them. them. He whapped them. That's a big shot on a line tank. Like, you know, it's it's obviously better that he's still alive, but like when you when you're playing a line tank and you're not able to take one shot, it really changes how he plays and unfortunately Bob's still got enough health where he's able to take at least one shot from really all these tanks. Right? I don't think besides the SU, I don't know what the SU actually rolls for, so maybe it could be wrong, but I think for the most majority, Bob's pretty good to take a shot at least. Yeah, he can take a shot. Him, but, he can take a shot from the SU. You know, so now you kind of see like uh, US 5's light tank is kind of gone to way, way passive, way up on the hill. And if, if your gun's only doing 150 damage, probably not the best thing you want. Also, well, decoy is figuring out that US 5 is pulling off this side. They're going to start rotating. They may get DK, DK out here. Yeah, TK's in a bad spot unless they're really able to cover him. But I mean, somebody's probably going to eat a shot from the well, SU. I mean, if Super Bruno gets up there and. You know, this, uh, the U.S. can, you know, 130, uh, the SU gets in position. They they can do damage if they decide to go for TK. I have TK to say one. But I don't think Decoy is going to go for TK. I don't think they have to. I don't I don't think they will. I don't think they will. I think maybe they'll creep around and they'll try to create angles. But I think I think they'll play the clock and they'll wait for them to make a thing. Because Super D up there is taking damage. Blanks is taking damage. Bob is taking damage. Right? Like, the uh, Decoy is down hit points. Right? About, what, 400 hit points here? US5 is doing so, a lot of rotating. Yeah, I don't think you have a choice. Yep. You know, but I think. Um, and they're going to have to make a decision quick because uh, I believe we're we're getting down to the four minute mark now. Yeah. Oh, the we're unfortunate. At the five mark. Yeah. The, the unfortunate thing about this is that uh, on a map like this, when you rotate, it's going to be tough. Now, they are. I actually like this play. They're going to go for the Scourge up here. They faked the rotation out, and they rotated back. But they do with Gambit's in a T-32 just literally sitting all down, ready to punish anything that comes this way. Yeah, and he's so going to get a lot of damage oh, out. He, he is just hold down. He'll get a ton of damage out if they push that guy. Yeah, and they won't pin him there unless they really get a hatch. And I don't think that's really going to happen. Yeah, so I mean, I'm really the the only play is they would have to rotate everybody. Really come up this other side where this guy's taking damage. The problem with that is oh, that he's got TK caught out here. He tried him track. TK's taking damage oh. from multiples. He's out. Oh, he got him track. That's it. US five is just gonna it send like it here. It looks like they're sending it all. They're yeah, they're, they're kind of out of options. I mean, they're gonna get hard bled for this though. Yeah, they haven't even shot at him. Like D, even decoys Ragnarok says they're loading, they're coming in to get him. Yeah, unfortunately, that's tough. I mean, the thing about this, I think, like, they really needed to push the other. If you rotate way to the other side, the other team knows, wait, they just disappeared for three minutes. They probably know they're coming. They almost got Bob out. But... Yeah, they got him down. We're going to oh, rotate well. to the other side where. US5 is doing a last a last ditch effort push here. Unfortunately, they're driving into a hole down T32 with an SU guarding. Um, this is going to be really hard for US5 to come back from. Yeah. Tiger it. 2 goes Tiger down. Tiger two. How many guys we got left? We got the uh, Scourge over two, here. It's pretty yeah. low. We got the SU all the way up there, but they'll be T able to go get him with Ragnaroks. T32 is going to maybe die here. He got in his face to face hug. See if he bounces a shot. Oh, he got the reload. We'll go on yep. over to the SU, which is the last tank alive. And unfortunately, I hate to call a game early, but it looks like Decoy is going to take the series here 4 0 and be the champions. Yep. That's it. I mean, unless this guy can ammo rack everybody on his shot, I mean, uh, it's uh, pretty well over. So, unfortunate turn of events for US5. I really thought we were going to see a much better matchup. Um, some things just did not work out well for them on each map. Looks like maybe a couple of little mistakes, which led to some really bad punish. Um, it, it, I also can say it definitely looked like 
um, decoy had put in the work, right? They've done some practicing, or at the very minimum, uh, their caller has taken some time to to really find some angles for these tier eights um, and really kind of put it to work. Uh, great, great games by decoy. Yeah, decoy looked really good. But on the uh, side of US5, you had the SU 130, 1550, landed a couple of scotch. Scourge, just shy of 800. Tiger 2, 600. Dragon 400. And the light tank did was was able, you know, in the beginning of that match, he did. He did kind of win that light tank battle a little bit. Was able to hit him for about 350, get some spawning damage in there. And the Stone Cold 300, you know, he kind of ended up in a weird spot. Can we have it? And then the uh, two Ragnarok's that kind of pushed was really just at the end of the game. They weren't going to get anything done, unfortunately. And then you have the real Super D up on top. He really had a good night tonight, 2300. Then you had Dodger Blue in the T32, two kills. 2150. The other T32 that was just sitting hold down, just waiting. One kill, 17. Then you had uh, Fake Super D in his Ragnarok. He's, he actually had a pretty good night, to be honest with you, too. Two kills, 1400. The Scourge that was... I actually don't know where he was. I think he went with the Ragnarok to that side, if I remember correctly. Two kills, 1350. And Bob and his Vanguard was able to get just shy of uh, 1300. Just shy of 1300 spotting. Another solid game. And... It dips in his Ragnarok, really just put in one clip as they push, one kill, 750, yeah. and then the Defender that was kind of back with Super D. I think Super D just shot him, and this guy really, unfortunately, probably wasn't even able to aim in as a Defender, but at the end of the day, he didn't really need to do anything. He's probably really, probably just the anger force that really made a push. He was still back there. And now that was it. Yeah, but that's 4-0. I think, uh, unfortunately, a couple more rolls. I think I think that light tank played a, played a big, big, big part of that series, and uh, Decoy was ready to battle. Yeah, the light tank for Decoy was definitely putting in a lot of work for them tonight. Um, crazy good positions. Um, whether it was luck or not, you know, we don't really know. Honestly, couldn't see on a couple of those maps what happened. Um, but, yeah, he was able to get into positions and really keep them lit. Um, so, well played by the, I, I believe it was E90, e M3 Bob that played it uh, all night. Um, so, GG's. Uh, chat, that's going to wrap it up for us. Um, congratulations to Decoy being... TCL's first season uh, champion. Um, <laughs> crazy enough, they actually ended the whole series the same exact uh, you know score as US5 because US5 went uh, undefeated all the way up to tonight. But GG's to both teams, well played. Next season, TCL goes over to Tier 9 NBA, so a little bit different um, than this season, moving away from Assault. Uh, so that'll kind of bring back a little bit more of the meta, uh, a little less um, defense-friendly, right? Um, so if anybody's interested in that, um, you can hit up Samurai Faith. He's in chat. He'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, any of my mods yeah. in the chat can help you. We can get you a link to the Discord server. Um, and as always, thanks for coming around. Stick around after the delay is over. I'll get you guys rated over to somebody that's playing some tanks. I really appreciate y'all coming out. Tubbins, thanks for coming and uh, doing comms. As with you, Samurai, I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Yeah, always. always. Oh, hey, I appreciate it being a part of it. I did. Yep, everybody enjoy. Catch you in the next one.